For example, let's do a practice search in the SCL catalog. We'll go to the home page and we are going to enter a search with just a general term of Civil War. We'll be using the basic search tab and we're going to enter Civil War. This is perfect when you just want to do a quick search under keyword to pull up locations and to see how many items it retrieves. For a basic search on Civil War we receive 114 items and we can notice that most of the items are in the Dewey category of 973.7. However, what if we want to narrow that search result or be more specific, combine it with another term? That is when we would use our Boolean operator. We move over to the Power tab and here we are given more options to combine key terms. So we're going to try the same search, Civil War, and we're going to combine that with Battles. And search. And we'll notice that our results have now narrowed significantly to 16 hits. Let's go back and try another Boolean operator. Let's redo our search and expand it a little bit so that we are in Civil War and now we want to combine that with battles or battlefields. And we can see that our results are broadened a little. We now have moved up to 25 hits. Another example of the Boolean operator is to narrow our results somewhat. So let's say we go back to the beginning of our search history. We started with Civil War. Let's say we want to knock out all historical fiction books that are in this search result. So we can click on not and add the term fiction to our search. And then we can see that the original search under Civil War had been 114 hits and we restricted that to nonfiction only. We took out the fiction results that were included and now the search has been narrowed down to 78 hits. So I hope that helps explain Boolean searching and please remember to ask if you have any questions. That's all for now.